Hello everyone. Greetings from Adelaide in South Australia. My name is George Watt. I'm here to read one of the poems selected for Mingled Voices 5. The poem is titled The Blackbirds of Cooper Place. Uh, this is an intensely personal poem for me because I wrote it after my mother passed away. One of the things uh, she enjoyed doing more than anything was in the early morning or the evening uh, to sit outside and listen to the blackbirds sing. The Blackbirds of Cooper Place Doesn't she look beautiful? No, she's yellow, grey, skeletal, a corpse, dead, just dead. Run, run from rest and peace at all. The blackbirds too look lost. Who will sweep up the mess left on the long path to the road? The price of worms, the price of song. Twice a day she'd sweep it back to the beds, but they'd wait in the jacaranda tree or the ancient pepper tree till she turned her back and they'd drop and scatter again. On still, warm nights, we'd sit on the deck, hoping the mosquitoes would stay away. And sure enough, the plaintive song would come, notes hanging in the calm evening air. If you could grab them, hold them, we would. Instead, we try to find her location, pin her down, and just as we should think she's there or there, her notes rise from another place. The song is never quite the same. Shadows alter, a cricket might chirrup, or my chair creak when trying not to make a human sound. Now, when the blackbirds sing at Cooper Place, you will not be there listening. But I can't escape the notion that you are there inside their song part of their love of evening and joy in spring. Oh, I don't know of a heaven, but I do know this. We three are infinitesimal notes that join a great chorus, the music of the spheres and its baffling harmony, no beginning, no end. But for now, Coda, I'll go and sweep the path.